Today, we are going to share with you our process to locate rare variety and error coins. Hey everybody, CFA back with you. So we get comments all the time. CFA, we love seeing you find these rare varieties and these error coins. It's so cool. You get some low mintages. You know, lately we've been talking about rotation errors, die cracks, things like that. And people say, well, we would like to see your setup how do you find these? You know, what do you, what process do you use to go through your change or to go through those coins that you've already coin roll hunted in order to locate these rare variety and error coins? And I've made it pretty simple for myself. I have a whole setup going on and I can actually sit and do other things at the same time, multitask, and still locate some really cool stuff. So, by request from some viewers and friends of ours, we have decided to put this little clip together and show you our process. So check this out. All right guys, so here is a typical setup that I do when I'm looking for rare varieties and error coins out of stuff that we've already coin roll hunted. So right here is a bunch of pennies we've already gone through once. What I do is I'll have it here and I've got my bright spotlight, I've got my magnifying glass, I've got this little deal here, it's just a two by two that I put lines in there so I can look for uh, rotation errors. I'll see them because as I go I flip and look, but I've got this to kind of give me an idea of how much they are. I'm looking for 45 degrees or more is typically what I want. But I've got that set here. I've got my scale. For the scale I'm mostly looking at like 1983's, maybe stuff that's too dirty and I can't tell if it's copper or not, most of the time I can tell, but I've got that for that. 1983s, I'm always looking to see if I can get that copper 83, right? Big box. I've got a box to put the ones I've already looked at and ready to go back to the bank in. I've got my Strike It Rich and my Cherry Pickers and my Blue Book all for uh, looking at in case I've got any questions. But I've looked through them so much, especially with pennies and nickels, that I have a pretty good idea what I'm looking at. Um, I've, got, I've always got a book set up of what I'm trying to fill this right now. You know, we got lots of books, but right now this is the one I'm working on. I'm trying to look for nicer specimens and fill a couple holes still. Uh, I've got my new Quince Coins sheet there in the background. And right here, I'm watching some Super Neo. It's very, one of my favorite things to do while I'm going through coins is just to watch other YouTubers. So I have my laptop going, I'm watching that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is my typical setup. I mean, pretty simple. I know a lot of what I'm looking for, like I said, a lot of times if I'm going through, say, pennies, see, I'll, they're at the beginning of the book, so I'll have it sitting open already, like this, and then if I have a question, like, oh, wait, I think I know what that variety is, or whatever, or one to look for, I'll, I'll just skip back to it, or whatever. So, that's kind of what I do here. Um, sometimes, though, if I'm not watching YouTube, or maybe I'm watching TV, it kind of looks like this. All right, guys, so when I'm not watching YouTube, a lot of times I'm watching TV. Right now I'm watching the Olympics, right? So I can sit here, I got the whole setup going on, pretty much like I did over there. Come to look here. I've got my scale still, my box for the rejects, or what's going back to the bank. Check the rotation with that. I've got all my reference guides. I've got my book set up to fill holes that we're working on right now. We've got pennies right now. Right here, you see a little stack I've got started. Those are copper cents that I've already searched. We keep all copper cents. And right here is some bags of stuff I've been saving. These are all toned coins. So lately, I've been keeping any pennies and nickels. I've been keeping stuff that's real colorful, toned, things that, you know, rainbow colors, purples, things like that. And I plan on putting a whole book together of just toned coins, something CFA Junior and I thought would be a really cool thing to do. So I've been working on that. And this is all woody scents that I found. These are all copper. Some of them are very easy to see. They're pretty light woody scents, but I save all those. And also right here, this is just copper Lincoln scents that are red, like bright red. And I plan on eventually probably using them for a book, right? They're, they're just nice red ones. And I probably should put them in tubes rather than just have them banging each other in a bag. But that's what those are all about. And again, we have our bright light and uh, I usually skim back to the pennies right here. And this is how we go. So here's how it would look. I'm sitting here like this. Make a little space here. If I grab them and I'm looking. Okay, no rotation. Sometimes I take a closer look. Look for die cracks or anything special. 
nothing. Boom, goes in the bag. Or the box, excuse me. We go to the next. All right, I usually start with the one step down, flip it straight over. You know, take a closer look. Nope, nothing jumping out at me. Boom, back in the box. All right, so there you go. That's our process around here of double checking our coins before they go back to the bank. Now you saw me there with the magnifying glass. I always give every coin a once over with it. And if I see anything that looks interesting, boom, it gets translated over to the scope and we give it an even closer look. So you get the real fine, you know, die cracks and sometimes double dies and things like that that you can't really see, especially with the naked eye or even with the magnifying glass and stuff. Nothing spectacular. We make it pretty simple. This is just the easy way for us to do things and kind of gives you an idea how we look for things. Maybe this helps some of y'all out. I hope it does. If you got any questions about it, if you got any comments, leave them down below. We'd love to hear your guys' process. Maybe you can help us learn something new. And let us know if uh, any of this helps you guys out. If you find anything good, we'd love to hear about it. Thank you for supporting our channel. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep checking that change.